it is critical for you to understand the differences between bike maintenance and bike repair. In this video, we're going to talk about the differences and why it's going to save you a lot of money and headache, but also a lot of safety concerns that we see in the bike shop because people aren't doing the basics to keep their bike running safely. Before we get started, I'm cutting this bike maintenance Monday a little bit close because I was finally cleared to go for a bike ride and it's nice out. So I'm going to take you for a quick spin around the neighborhood as I shake my leg out after being broken and damaged the last couple, two, three months. And then we're going to sit down in a beautiful park in the sunshine to talk about bike maintenance first bike repair. We're pumped, battery is charged. Just need to find my helmet. We're ready to roll. Finally set up down by the lake. Gosh, it's so nice out. Last day of January, sun's out. I hope you enjoyed the weather today, wherever you are. Today's topic, like I mentioned in the beginning, is bike maintenance versus bike repair and why it's so important to know the difference. Working and owning a shop, 90% of the bikes coming in needing service are due to bike maintenance. They didn't do a good job keeping up with bike maintenance and now they've worn out their chain which wore out all the different parts on their drivetrain and what would have been a $40, $50 service repair is now two to seven hundred dollars. There are going to be times that you are just riding along which we call JRA and something happens that you couldn't avoid it. Maybe it's a pothole, maybe a stick, maybe a squirrel, maybe you crash. And those to me are true bike repairs that maintenance couldn't have prevented. The reason I wanna really dig into this, is the primer of this new series of Bike Maintenance Monday, I'm gonna be focused on that 80 to 90% of bike maintenance. How to lube your chain properly, how to clean, how to check your brake pads, because if you do these key things, your bike is gonna be more reliable and safe, and it's gonna save you a lot of money before it turns into a repair and failure. When people tell me that they break their chain often, I think to myself, it was either installed improperly or they're not shifting properly. I have only broken a chain once in my life, and that was due to a shifting malfunction. I shifted when I shouldn't have under a lot of load and it got jammed up and ultimately pulled the plates apart on my chain. I hear often that they're having to replace their chain every four to 500 miles. And I think to myself, either you're not maintaining your chain, looping it and keeping it clean, or you're riding under a lot of load. You aren't in the right gear, you're shifting improperly. There's a lot of reasons, but a lot of the service concerns we see out there about bikes, bikes being expensive, not reliable, are due to overlooked maintenance. Now, I'm gonna do my best to bring you along every week, every Monday, I mean for every Monday. If I go on vacation, there won't be one. But every Monday, Bike Maintenance Monday, if you have a question, let me know below in that comment section what kind of bike you have and what your question is. And we're gonna do our best to make your bikes more reliable and safer, but also save you money and enjoy the rides. You don't have 
those just riding along and my derailleur exploded. The only reason that should happen is if a stick or something goes in there, not because your bike failed due to neglect. All right, that's all I have for you today. I wanted to set the table for this series, for this bike maintenance outlook. Let me know in the comments what questions you have. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay well, stay good. Remember, bike more and worry less.